So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Galaxy Z Flip 4 versus iPhone 13 Pro Max speed test. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, go, and see which one can get there first. Now, keep in mind the Galaxy Z Flip 4 does have the new Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. And keep in mind that even though it was much smaller in my hand right here, it also has a 6.7 inch display, just like the iPhone 13 Pro Max. But the Pro Max says, shut up, Nick. Do you see how much faster I turned on? A few seconds faster than the all new Galaxy Z Flip 4. But the Z Flip 4 wasn't too far behind. Both of them respectable on that boot up speed. All right, so let's talk about biometrics. So let's see which one is faster. So we do have a hardware fingerprint. So all you have to do with the Z Flip is just kind of go like that. And you can see it's in very fast. So just click that in display and you're good. Well, it's not in display. It's actually on the hardware body right there, but it also has a face unlock as well. So sometimes it works. Sometimes if you're not looking at it properly, it'll miss, but overall it's very fast and you can bypass the lock screen unlike on the iPhone. Whereas with the iPhone, you do have the amazing face ID, which is incredibly great for signing into applications. It's super fast. Apples are finded over the years. So even if you're kind of on a weird angle, it most of the time will get it. They even added mask support. So works with glasses and all kinds of things. So definitely very fast as well. I think the Z Flip 4 does have a slight advantage in speed because you literally don't even have to look at the phone. You could just place your thumb there, turn it around, whatever you're doing, just you know that hardware sensor fingerprint is right there. So I would say the Z Flip 4 is actually a little bit faster to unlock. So generally just kind of scrolling through the operating system, both are butter with the iPhone being the original butter phone, AKA super smooth with the 120 Hertz. Samsung had it for a while, but Finally, I am very happy with Samsung launching this phone super optimized. And with that Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 on here, these Z Fold 4s and Flip 4s have been rocking out of the gate. They've been super smooth, really enjoyable performance, and they don't get hot. They're reminding me a lot of what Apple does with their iOS devices over here. So let's begin with this app test. Everything closed out on both. We are rocking the, well, that one wasn't closed, but we are rocking 15.6.1. One UI 4.1.1 over here, Android 12, obviously iOS, A15 Bionic chipset, and we already mentioned the CPU earlier. Eight gigabytes of RAM, six gigabytes of RAM. Let's begin with clock. You can see faster on the iPhone, and just take a look at the gestures and animations. You're gonna see how well the Z Flip 4 does perform. We already know this is a beast, but this is the new kid on the block. Let's go into calculator. You can see iPhone slightly faster. We'll go into calendar iPhone a hair quicker. We'll go into Play Store, App Store, and the Z Flip 4 says, I got this one for you. Let's go over here to games. You can see games faster for the Z Flip 4. And of course, Android retains that faster scrolling, iOS with that smooth scrolling. Let's go into Instagram. That's not to say Samsung scrolling isn't smooth. It is, but I'm just saying smoother, slower on the iPhone. So an Instagram, pretty similar. When you go ahead and open up a post, you're gonna see it's pretty similar nonetheless. And coming out, just take a look at how similar, the animations look like identical. Let's go into Twitter. And you can see Twitter is gonna be first on the left, as usual, profile. And keep in mind that the Z Flip 4 is less money than the iPhone 13 Pro Max and definitely gonna be less than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. You can see this one is loading up about the same. And while it might look larger, it's actually just taller while the iPhone 13 Pro Max is wider. Going into eBay, and you can see eBay on the left. I will say the Z Flip 4 has felt much more comfortable to carry around and use day to day than the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but the Pro Max is a great media consumption device. We'll go into Starbucks here. You could see pretty similar. I mean, just look at this performance. Like it is neck and neck. Usually, I'm saying the iPhone is a little bit faster, a little bit faster every time around with these Samsung phones. But you're seeing right here, it's neck and neck. So really, it's now coming down to which software do you really want? Because performance wise, you know, we're going to have to stop doing speed tests someday because at this point, it's seeming like, you know, Samsung is definitely catching up. But on this one, we're going to see the wind going to which one's it going to be? It's going to be the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4. 
So you can see right here, there is a potential for the Z Flip 4 to be faster than the iPhone 13 Pro Max. And people are gonna say, okay, Nick, bro, just wait till next week, you'll see. We already know, they play this whole game of who goes first. So let's go ahead and open up Subway Surfers. And I know, next week, iPhone 14 Pro Max is gonna blow away the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 with its newer CPU. But at the same time, you know, at least we have something that's very competitive in performance now, whereas last year, I feel like the iPhone was way ahead in terms of just kind of like efficiency and stuff. So we'll see what they're gonna do with the next version of the CPU. I'm sure Apple's not gonna like that Android's catching up here. So they're definitely gonna come out with the big dogs, you know, with those newer Pro versions of 14 Pro and Pro Max. And you can see, pretty similar on Temple Run as well. If we go ahead and hit play, looking pretty good, pretty smooth. So you can enjoy this stuff on either phone. I'm just seeing two phones right here that essentially perform the same. It just comes down to how do they want, how do you, what type of phone do you want? The slab style or the flip style? Let's go into Geekbench 5. You can see faster on the iPhone, 3D Mark, faster a little bit on the iPhone, and speedtest.net. You can see pretty similar. So Z Flip 4 is, yes, it doesn't have triple cameras and stuff like that, but it's on the same level as the 13 Pro Max in real world app opening day to day. So let's go back through these applications to see if we do get a reload for either phone. So pretty good there. They're good on that one. Good on that one. And Samsung even got better with how their animations look when you go back through the applications. They've just improved this. And I think it's gonna get only better as they further refine the one UI. Let's go into Starbucks and you could see pretty similar once again, Groupon, iPhone, eBay, iPhone a little quicker, still a little bit faster on this reload stuff. It's because they usually hold a screenshot in the background and make it look way faster, but you can see just butter on both of these. I'm I'm saying, man, one of the reasons I kept making videos about the 13 Pro, Pro Max praising it all year was just how polished and refined it felt with its performance. Samsung has done it here with the Z Flip 4 and the Z Fold 4, they've brought the polish, they've brought that refinement feel where like your phone just performs beautiful and it doesn't get hot and it's smooth all the time. They've done it. I think they've really caught up here to at least the 13 models. Okay, so let's go to a quick web browsing test, samsung.com, we'll hit go in three, two, go. And you can see samsung.com faster on the iPhone by a little bit. This is Safari versus Samsung internet, by the way. And you can see both pretty smooth when actually in that test. Let's go to apple.com now. We're about to go to apple.com. One thing I wanna note, this is not really about speed, but I really hope Apple brings a number row to their next you know, iPhone. So let's go into go in three, two, one. And you can see apple.com slightly faster on the right. So overall, I gotta say, man, both of these perform fantastic in web browsing as well. They're both 5G phones. They both hold great signal strength. Let's go ahead and run a quick Geekbench test and see how the actual benchmarks reflect their performance. I'll be back in a second. All right, so Apple's done first. What do you know? This will tell you right away that technically the thing is faster. It finishes tests like about 30 seconds ago. I was still waiting on the Z Flip 4 and you can see not even close in the single core, almost a thousand points less, but pretty close there in that multi-core score. But there's some optimizations going on with the One UI 4.1.1 and just kind of the overall system that Samsung has done with the Qualcomm CPU that makes it feel day to day just about as fast as an iPhone. Now, Apple still has the technical lead, but I'm telling you in the real world, nobody uses this performance like this unless you're actually editing on your phone. Very small percentage. Day to day, the average person is gonna notice something like this a little bit more then they are gonna notice what we're showing in this video. Reason why this is important, it's a little bit scary actually for Apple is because Apple has had a stronghold in the performance lead for a long time. And now we're having Apple continuing to launch these phones like this that are slab style, which are still awesome and beautiful. They still have some of the most premium feel, but I think it's pretty exciting what Samsung is doing here as well. So not only are the Android phones catching up, getting closer every year in performance, but they're also offering innovative different designs that could potentially turn your eyes away from the iPhone. But a lot of people are like, no way, never, iOS forever. But that's okay. 
iPhone is still the winner here in terms of technical speed, but in real world use, Samsung has done it. They've pretty much caught up to at least a 13 series and everyday usage. They're both quite as they're both incredibly fast. If you guys want a video helpful, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace. Thank you.